How's my little star? How was your day? Mm. Uncle, what did you bring for me? Something special. Expecting this holiday, yeah? Hmm? Your husband is coming home, Abby? Yes. Hmm. Mine left immediately after our wedding. Mm -hmm. Just heard he couldn't put one in me before he left. Come on, girl. There'll be plenty of time for all that. Ask me, the mother of two. Nothing happened for the first couple of months. And what's that? Two boys. Hmm. One after the other. Wow. In quick succession. Wow. <laughs> wow. People wear things seen at them fine pass. Mm. Too much shakara for your body at 27. <coughs> no child, mm. no husband. In Yanga, every time, what is wrong with you? <laughs> pyong, pyong, pyong in your body. What is it? <laughs> Look at me. Uh -huh. At 30, uh. I have two beautiful kids already. Oh, yeah? There's another one on the way. Another one on the way. Yes. <laughs> Another one on the way. <laughs> How are you? Another one. Daddy. Is that you? It's just me, Laurie. You should be in bed, Mrs. Chicken. The bed? Always in bed. Do you know that bed? Is where all nightmares are made. Hmm? It's noon. No nightmares. Have you seen your brother Terry lately? I have no brothers. Relax, Mrs. Chicky. Relax. Your your session is in an hour. So you should be resting by now. Lulu likes to sleep naked because she likes to feel the sheets caressing her body as she feels the warmth under the sheet in a cold, dark night. Let, let me get to the next chapter. Change does not just happen. Humans make change work. Love is a seed that must grow. 
that must be nurtured to grow and germinate. Look, you will have to be in charge until I leave. Huh? You know I can't be there at this moment. This damned accident is done to cover my body and I can't move without assistance. I need you to hold the fort at least until I'm able to move without my crutches. That's all. Thank you. What is it again this time? What? Oh, what's on the invoice? Hundred million naira. Okay. I will uh I'll make the necessary calls. Just remind me. 6 a.m. will be fine. Stay in your assigned floors. How do you mean? You don't have to perambulate the whole floors after work hours. When you're done, just go down the stairs. Avoid diversions. Excuse me. This is a therapeutic center. And the wholesomeness of the patients is my concern. Stop the stress in them. I cost the patients what exactly? Shouldn't you be concerned about your weight? Oh, you've put on an unhealthy lot recently. I'm sure it causes you so much anxiety and causes the patients much sore when you lean on them. Have a good night, Anita. should let me take care of home while you're away. You mean let you have your friends over? No. You start grandmas. I'm not a child anymore, Mom.
I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You know what? I, I've just got another one. You will have to pay for it. Don't worry, really. Never mind. Hi, girls. May I? Didn't you just administer drugs? I didn't. I almost made it, but your patient stumbled them over. Now I have to get a refill. Ewo, where? He's in his room. Thank God you know it's coming out of your paycheck. That is, if the supervisor gets to know. You see, I plan on telling the director that Anita here doesn't take care of her patients. She lets them wander off at will. I mean, we're supposed to be responsible for them, right? Wow. Why won't you tell the director when you won't stop meeting him in secret places and doing secret things? <clears throat> I have these words you just said now, and you can repeat them in front of the director. Um, please, uh, uh, hurry up, let's go. I, I have to check on my patient.
What about the family you said would take the babies? Your daughter? She has shown reluctance to letting the babies go. She's their mother. We have to find a family. Can't we keep them? These are not toys. You can't keep them. You cannot raise them. It's bad enough that my useless brother gave you a child. A sinful child. Not just one, but two of them. We can hardly take care of each other. Now, we have two extra mouths. I'll, I'll breastfeed them. Shut up! Name will one. I brought a monarchy for a It was hard for me watching you crumble under that load. Jim. She never did a little bit of a little bit of a little I don't know where to go or what to do. If we can tell people you adopted them. You will not tell anyone anything about these babies. You will not answer any questions. My child, are you listening? Oh. Mom, wake up. It's 6 a.m. Wake up. I have been looking for you. I don't have that time, please. Well, you have to. Director added a delicious assignment to your workload. I, I don't understand. You are in charge of Anita's patients. What? Wait, wait, wait. What happens to my patients? Oh, they are still yours. What? Wait! Where is Anita? She's not feeling fine. See her face. It just spoil. <laughs> we are short. Get to work. 
the earlier the better. Come out. Please. That's not too encouraging a tone. I was really excited to see you. We have a gym session lined up for one hour, according to your itinerary. Well, if you're going to sound all formal and official, why don't you start with a good morning? Sorry? That hurt. And you called me what? That wasn't you. That was a curse. I guess the effort would have been better. That would have been very crude. So none of them goes. Can we take a break now, please? No. You missed one hour of physical therapy today. Where's my nurse? You drove her mad. Sorry, did you? What did you just say? Nothing I can repeat. Uh, are you always this mean? Or is there something about my thighs? Ah, there is something about my thigh. <laughs> I will not be disrespected. If you want a break, just say so. But I did ask nicely at first. I want my nurse back. Yeah, she's a pain in my butt, but yet she's less self-righteous. I can't have any much understandings with you. Excuse me? For starters, can you get me a girl to blow me off every night? <laughs> See that? <laughs> Come on, I was only trying to joke with you. I get off jokes like that. You... You... 
arrogant piece of scum. Colorful words. I never knew you had that in you. I was only trying to stoke your fire and you and you let me. Nurse? Laurie? Can I call you by your name? I'm a very busy man, and being stuck here with no willpower to fast forward my process aches me. So when I tell you that I'm happy to see you, I expect you to return the favor. That's how I think. Do you understand? Now I know my nurse is gone for a few days and I'm stuck here with you. So on that note, I will not let the director know how bad, how unhappy you've made me today. I'll just let it slide. Uh-huh. I know it's... It's unnerving. You're attending to the most important person in this facility. Walk me. Nah, I need strollers. Nah, 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 I need a wheelchair. All these talk has made me tired. Well, um, <laughs> Mr. Busy Man, this is the part where you listen to the nurses in attendance. This is where you listen to me. You will walk yourself out of this place because you've insulted me and chalked it up with fancy games. Oh, also you threatened my job with flimsy excuses. I will not be attending to you anymore. <laughs> Listen, you may be all powerful outside this place, but within these walls, in here, you do as you're told. Laurie, Laurie, Laurie. Hello? How is she? Okay, okay, um, please just give her... Curse you. Um, oh, Anita, hi. Sorry, are you, are you done for the day? No, why? I just got a call, my... My sister is, is sick. Could you please cover for me? Let me walk out and think about it. Oh, the director wants to see you. You should finish your food and pack those plates. Grandma is not home from tomorrow. What then? I'll figure something out. Does it mean I can stay home? You haven't eaten anything. I'm not hungry. Am I allowed to skip dinner? I need to watch my weight. All my friends say that's the secret. 
to staying healthy and slim. You're not skipping dinner. Leave by example then. Good. <laughs> What's that? You need to go out more. <laughs> Excuse me. Nothing. Just don't hurt life because of me. Okay? I would like to say I love you. But I won't. <laughs> so, eat. Yeah. It's me, Laurie. I killed my mom. So what made you come back? Uh, um, well, the director called me late last night and he said the board had decided that I nest you in particular to full Klimble of health. You don't know how this happened. I mean the board. Do you? Well, maybe someone noticed that you had been burdened and decided to make things easier for you. You? You can influence the board? I already did. Do you want to talk about it? No. It could help if you laid all out to dry. Say someone with many secrets. H how did you know that I may have secrets? May is a probable word. However, I could use that with other ladies. Yet, not with you. You're definite. You're definitely keeping secrets. I, I was careless. My mom. She said it will be the death of me. I tried to turn. I swept. I only saw kids. That's all I remember. I couldn't look at my mom's eyes because her eyes would have told me I told you this would have been the death of you. I, I didn't look that way at all. I just looked forward and that, that was, 
the death of her. I barely survived. <clears throat> Ever since, I've been put back bit by bit. Surgery after surgery. Healing after healing. For three months. Going on four. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and say no. When she asked me to drop her off because she could barely see her own son. Is it not sad that she can never, she would never see her son again? Achilles! You, you're Christian, right? You believe in the last day? You don't get it. While we're here, with who we are, with all our secrets, what makes you think that we'll make it? But we have hope. We, we have hope to, to make things right while we're here. Right? That we do. How long was I out for? I don't know. <sighs> Grandma got a call to go to the village. Something about prayer meeting. In the village? Couldn't she have just done it here? Or attend the church revival somewhere close by? You know the battle never ends. What battle? Good. And evil. Grandma says so all the time. She believes we're of the devil. You and me. Else, you wouldn't have chosen to keep me. <sighs> the seed of a rapist. You are mine! You're beautiful. I love you, okay? Look, 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 look. You're intentional. Don't you ever let anyone, anyone, not even my mother, not even me, not even me, Sarah, no one, no one should make you feel less of yourself. You're the light I felt when every other person told me I was wrapped in the cloak of darkness. When the news got out that I was abused, parents wouldn't let their children play with me. My classmates would shy away from me. There were no best friends then. Mama would take me from city to city to hide my shame. Her shame! But I'm not ashamed of you. Do you understand? Oh, Jesus, Sarah. Please come to me. Whenever you have something on your mind to say, please. 
Don't hesitate. Please. I love you. As a mother. As a friend. And as a sister. I think sometimes you told her at school that you were my sister. To hide that you were my mom. I think differently now. You just wanted to save me from having an unhappy childhood. <laughs> Seriously, do I have to follow you? I won't let my mother feel your mind in negative thoughts. And I have to have a word with her. Probably when I'm in the right frame of mind, I can't say something I'll regret. You're welcome. Do we have to? Really? I could have just stayed home. Not happening, young woman. I know what's best for you. Stay here. It's safe. And don't come out. Did anyone die in here? God, no. Ew, it smells. It's antiseptic. I hate hospitals. People die in hospitals. Well, my dear, this is a different kind of hospital. Here, people live on their two feet more often than not. Any kid boys as patients. <laughs> I will beat you. <laughs> I can't help but notice you seem lighter today. <laughs> Is it me? I don't think so. It's never you. So who's responsible then? <sighs> I just have had a whole lot off my chest recently. With who? <laughs> no one of your interests. Wow. Here I was planning that as soon as I leave here. <clears throat> I was going to treat you right for all the things that I cost you behind. Why do you have that look on your face? Huh? You're a beautiful woman, you know that, right? And it's also a known fact that I like beautiful women who are empathetic more than sympathetic. It takes a mindful, mental connection to be just that. And you're one. I... I don't know what to say. <clears throat> Help me, please. What is it? It's nothing of interest to you. It's just business. And I don't look number smart. <laughs> There's a company going under. My father wanted that company when he was alive. But I refused to merge. 
And now that company is in the market for sale to the highest bidder. What do I offer? Walk away. You're not even going to ask? What? Their numbers and figures? Their sales? Their GDP? Is declining steadily, yes? If it hasn't, it's about to. I can turn things around. At what cost? You don't just buy scraps that was once gold and expect it shining immediately. It takes a whole lot of time. Do you have the time? The resources? Money rules everything around me. And I have that. Well, you asked. I'll walk away from anything with that history. That history is there, but I want that company. Why? It belonged to my ex. She took over when the father died. It was supposed to serve as a measure for both families to come together. <sighs> Nothing serious happened. We're not in love or something like that. No, uh, I didn't say anything. It was just business. Oh, God. I didn't say a word. I'm glad the mention of my ex got a rise out of you. There it is again. Oh, goodness. We felt it even before we met. I noticed you watching me the other day. You what? It's only natural to feel when you're being watched. When the nurse came to me after she shut the door, I asked her about you. Mm -hmm. She was really, really aggressive at her response. She only said you were new. Then I had to look for you so I could talk to you. Why? You were the youngest. The prettiest. I needed somebody I could converse with who wouldn't tell me what to do. And she felt ill and I was doing just that. Pissed me off. And then I had to devise a means to... I'm not going to say that. I'd rather say... To devise a means to make you attempt to me. What is it you wanted to say? You don't like the sound that unless you like me. Say it. Make you mine. Devise a means to make you all mine. Um. I need some fresh air. So do I. Uh, no. You can't go out at this hour. It's... Not unless you want me to. This is not fair. You're, you're tripping me. Fine. One hour, one. It's only a test to find out if you really like me. What? I'm a kind person. Aha, uh -huh. no one is arguing that. <laughs> Help me. Yep. Yep. <clears throat>
I told you to stay indoors. I'm thirsty. Stay here. I want to pee. Do not come out. Why? Who is she? Uh, um, she is my, my sister. Then let her come out. No, she'll be fine. Go to your room, I'll handle this. You don't tell me. I thought I told you to stay in here. I thought I told you to shut the door. You didn't say to shut the door. Don't you dare get smart mouthed with me. What if I'm bored? What if I'm thirsty? No, I'm not a prisoner. For the next few days, you'll be coming here. You're to stay where I say you should stay. You're not to leave unless I order it. You have a cell phone, right? Use it. Call me if there is any need and I'll find a way. All of this, because of that guy? What are you hiding? I am your mother and I will hide you for as long as I think it's necessary. Now don't you ever link me with a man I haven't linked myself with. That is not your place. Do you understand? Do you understand? It's time to go in. It's getting late. Thank you. I'd like to know about your sister. Why do you want to know about her? 
I'd like to be a part of your life. I mean, I'll soon be out of here. I almost don't need those. I'm asking you on a date. Leave here first. So you'd run? You got a man? I'm your nurse. So? It's inappropriate. To say you don't have a man? To answer. And I... What I do and don't have is none of your business. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be home soon. You like him? Mind your business. You wouldn't have told him that you were my sister. And eat your food. How long are you going to hide me? Sarah, Ike, Ekene de Ruchuku. I will do what I think is best for you. Do you hear me? Hello, Director. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll be there first thing in the morning. Good night.
Be good, okay? Bye, Mom. Breaking on the day, I can be in the zone, make a deal of my own, I can make it. Yeah. Let your mind ride, make you wicked and wild, you can give it a while that you fake it. How old were you when you heard her? You can tell me. Was it with someone you thought you loved? Worse. How old were you? Look, we're gonna have to talk about this eventually, so why not now? Hmm? I want to walk away. We have to talk about this. I deserve to know. Because I'm interested in you. What difference does it make? I need to know what hurts you. I need to know you're not going to hold your past experiences against me. I want to be in your life.
I want to know my father's face. I want to know where he is. I want to meet him someday. Sir, I'm tired. I am tired of everything. I am tired of living a lie. I am tired of living in a shadow. Your shadow. I put you in a place where no one can touch you. You're too young to understand these things. Why won't you let me be? Because I am old enough to understand. Grandma said he was her brother. What else? Do I look like him? No. But your brother did. What brother? The one he took with him. Who took with who? Your... My... The man... The man who fathered you... He came one night... He and Grandma got into a fight and... I was too tired... He wanted one of you. <laughs> Said we have taken everything from him. And Grandma. Grandma didn't want him to be handed over to the police. He was her brother. <laughs> she wanted to talk with him. See reasons. You see, this talk of the devil and the war between good and evil for Grandma has been going on for a very long time. It was important for her that her brother be delivered. The deed had been done. The devil had entered him and had gotten pregnant with you and your brother. I suffered. I suffered through it all to have you. I thought he was stuck. Raving mad that night. Turns out he was only drunk. We blamed the devil for our faults, our flaws. But it's us. It is us. I understand that now. <laughs> he tried taking both of you. I had just given birth. I was weak. Too weak. Next then, he was run over. Run over. By a trailer. Forgive me for all the times you didn't understand. Until recently, I didn't know how to tell you all this. I really needed the father, Mom. But I have you. And that's enough.
Hey. I was getting worried. Wow. I mean, I got discharged this morning. What took you so long to show up for work? You didn't want to see me leave. Huh? Hey, pretty one. We've been talking for quite some time now, but please, can I have your number? I think we have something in common. <laughs> uh, Andrew. I don't know how to tell you this, but... I'm not interested. In what? A relationship. Besides, this is my place of work. Uh, okay. Can I please have your number so I can call you? We talk over dinner? <laughs> Why not give me yours? How am I sure that you're going to call? Just expect it. Please call. I would have given you a hug right here, now. But not at your place of work. And certainly not for the very first time. Take care. Yeah, a patient under my care was discharged today. The old woman you told me about? Mrs. Chiki. No. She died. The day you ran off and left me at the center. I told you I don't like hospitals. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Why are we having wine and juice today? The discharged patient added a huge bonus to my paycheck, so I picked it up today at the bosses. Not at the end of the month. Interesting. I think he likes you. This mom patient. You're not allowed to say that. I'm not a child anymore, mom. Is this patient the guy? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. I saw you smile the other day when you walked with him. I think you like him. What do you want from me? What do you want me to say? 
To me? Nothing. To yourself? The truth will be nice. I can do without a father. You're too young for this. If you say so, Mom. What? Someone dropped this for you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Check. Well, if we're going to meet, it has to be dinner. At my place, um, I'm always very busy at the center. Are you there? I'm just so glad you called. <laughs> you were saying? You didn't hear what I said. Do you think I'm overdoing it? You never do. Whatever it is. Are you ready for this, Mom? You had to ask. I'm nervous. I haven't been on a date. It shows? Yes. Your hands are shaking, Mom. You're, you're welcome to my home. My humble home. I hope you don't mind I brought with me some takeouts. Uh, you really shouldn't have. Dinner was my idea. I insist. Okay. Well, that's the dining table. Good evening, sir. Hey there. I'm Andrew, but you could call me Uncle Andrew. Okay. I'm leaving my own, I'm breaking my walls today. If only you could take me far. You saved me, you saved me, you saved me again and again.
in my walls today If only you can take me far away Shining, making me blue. I feel safe with you. You don't leave me lonely. Don't leave me lonely. Don't leave me lonely. Ain't you mama? Ain't you mama? Don't leave me lonely. Don't leave me lonely. Don't leave me lonely. Ain't you mama? Ain't you mama? Ain't you mama? Before we go on the trip, shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Already. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for the friends like Uncle Andrew, who light up people's lives when they enter. I pray for more people in my mom's life, and for us, me and my mom, to be such people to others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, as we're going on this road trip to Uncle Andrew's hometown, let it be a happy one. Let us laugh and dance and crack jokes and make many good memories in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the driver drive well. Please, let there not be speed bumps this time. He is sometimes careless. Uncle Andrew hasn't gotten over his fear of driving. Well, maybe that is for the better. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sarah! For goodness sake, you should have been ready since yesterday. Do you want to pack all your clothes and books? Hold on. I'm ready. I'm just waiting for Sarah to... What are you doing? I want to take you to my hometown as my wife to be. I want to marry you, Laurie. Sarah. Sarah. Yes, Mom. He wants to be my dad. Yes, very much so. You don't know me. Us. We have nothing. I figured it would take us 50 years each to live. And in less time, we have all the time to know everything we need to know about each other and more. Just, just like that? Nothing ever happens just like that. I've watched you. I've been with you. And her, my daughter, I want us to live like a family. 
I love you, Laurie. And I can't wait to stop loving you from afar. I want to love you for the rest of my life beside me. Whatever thing that I can say it with, I love you, Laurie. I love you very much. My being craves you. My existence leaves for you. When you're happy, I am. When you're sad, I want to make you happy again. Please, Lord, say you'll be my wife. Will you marry me? Please, Mom. Say yes. Please. Yes. Let your mind ride, let your mind ride, make you 